country. So today I'm gonna do a smoked version of a side dish on my Traeger grill. I love that thing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I've got a stuffed red bell pepper that I'm gonna stuff with a beautiful spicy cheesy brown rice and we're gonna let it smoke and see how this comes out i think it's gonna be delicious and i hope it inspires you to stay with me go down in the description box check out my facebook page hit that like button and there's almost 2350 of us over there conversating and liking each other's stuff and getting uploads and i'm sharing stuff all the time i share recipes over there every day usually two recipes from wild tree a day you can go over to the wild tree website which that links in the description box below as well and uh, look up any recipe that i've posted and print it for yourself all right guys so let's go make this beautiful smoked side dish all right guys i am excited that you decided to stay for this one because it's going to be delicious so what i have here are these cute little and they're not very big they're only about three inches by two and a half um, red bell peppers and I cut them in half so I tried to save it didn't happen on all of them that one only got a little bit but I tried to make them cute and save that cut right through half of the stem it makes it more decorative and we eat with our eyes first and so this should hold about oh three-fourths of a cup depending on how mounded up you put it of filling so I've got my peppers all ready. I've got a jalapeno that I seeded and uh, got the core out of that I'm gonna cut into rings because you know I like it spicy. I have some spicy rotel. I've got some smoked chicken, uh, that stuffed chicken breast that I did last night. Um, I'm utilizing that other one and we're gonna we're gonna put this right in the mix. So let's see, this jalapeno is being stubborn. Sorry. Someday I'll get a new camera and you can see me from the other side over here instead. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna make my mixture. Of, in fact, I'm gonna put these over here on this platter for now. And we'll get our bowl over here. Now in here, I've got brown rice. And it really, it. I'm not going to give you measurements because it depends on how much filling you want to make. This could feed a crowd. You could get a bag of these peppers, or right now they go on sale quite often. They go on sale, and so um, it's pretty easy to get them three, four, five, six for a dollar. Um, or you go to farmer's market, or Costco always has a six pack of them. And um, you could feed 12 people. That and a side salad. It's dinner. You've got your whole grain, you've got your veg, your uh, cheese with the protein and dairy, and your meat. And very little meat has to go into this. This is one, um, about a little over half of a chicken breast. So, that being said, I'm not gonna get my hands all dummy up. So, I'm gonna put the rotel in, but I wanna drain off some of that liquid I don't want it too saucy. And break up your brown rice. I've already pre-cooked this rice. Uh, there's about, looks like about three cups there, but could only be two. So that's a can of Rotel. You do it as hot or as mild as you like. We like it spicy, so you can probably guess. Chicken's going down in there. And I'm gonna mix that about just for a second here. Let's see what I got. Oh. And that looks good already. Just that by itself looks fabulous. The chicken and the brown rice and the flavorful rotel. You could put um, extra hot sauce in there. You could do all kinds of stuff. And now we're gonna add cheese. I've got a fine grated Mexican blend. So it's Jack and Colby cheese. And do not cheap out on the cheese <laughs> or your guest will be really upset with you. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. 
The only thing that I think I'm missing now that I look at this, and I'm going to have to do it just because it's part of who I am. I'm going to put a little bit more cheese, and that's a good cup and a half of cheese. So, again, and if you didn't want to use cheese, if you have, you know, some intolerance to dairy or your, you know, your diet is restricting that, by all means, don't put it in there. Okay, I'm going to grab some cilantro and get that in there, and we're going to start stuffing some peppers. Okay, so I've got my cilantro all chopped up, and that's a pretty good handful of cilantro. I also, I tasted the filling. To me, it's a little bit on the bland side, so I'm going to do just about four, five rounds of salt. I want a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper and pepper, different kinds of peppers bring something else different to the party. And then here I've got um, spicy cheddar popcorn seasoning from Wild Tree, but I'm telling you this is fabulous on vegetables, it's really good. And I'm going to put about a tablespoon down over that. And now I've, I'm, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to have enough seasoning. I'm going to mix all that together really well. And the nice thing is, as this smokes, because I don't know, did I tell you we're going to smoke these peppers? As this smokes um, and the cheese melts in there, it's just going to become fabulous. And if you want to, in fact, I think I will um, add a little bit of chicken stock because some moisture will evaporate. I'm just going to drizzle down some chicken stock, loosen that up a little bit. There you go. And this is kind of like if I was going to stuff peppers for the oven um, and use this recipe, that's, I would do the same exact thing. So loosen that up to where you have that kind of consistency. Okay. Now that we've got that ready, I'm excited. I'm going to put that over there. Bring this right here. See what you can see. So I'm sure to get your full attention. I think you're I think you're good. Okay. So I got these little peppers. I'm excited. And you're just gonna honestly, you're just gonna grab and stuff those in there. Now, if you want this to be like a little side dish or a, a really, um, I don't know. I, I stuff them according to how many peppers I have out um, and then go from there. So if I have enough left, and I think I might, um, I've got a, another couple peppers that I could stuff because I'm kind of going to be serving a few people. So you can serve this alongside some uh, really yummy uh, refried black beans. You could put black beans in this mix if you wanted. Okay, so I'm going to finish stuffing these and I'll bring you back, let you know how much that made and we'll uh, get them on the smoker. Okay, how fabulous do those look? I did cut one more pepper. So this is four peppers. It's enough for eight people. Um, unless you're a really hearty eater and then if you had four really hearty eaters, it'd be enough for four people. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do a whole lot of cheese, just a little for, uh, you know, aesthetics and to let people know there's cheese in there. Um, but I don't want to cover up the pretty filling. It's beautiful. So uh, I think by now you guys have guessed that I'm really excited about grilling season because <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Well, and I, I grill all the time. But, and I'm going to put a jalapeno ring right there. It's going to make it look beautiful. Give a little extra punch. And how pretty are these? Who wouldn't be thrilled to have this on their plate, on their um, party platter? And so 
Okay, I'm going to take a picture and we're going to go outside. I'll put it on the smoker and I'll show you what I got. Oh, pretty. All right, you guys. We're out here and I'm ready to get these smoked. And remember that everything in these peppers, other than the veg, is all pre-cooked. The rice is cooked. The um, meat, you know, the chicken is cooked. So I'm not, I'm not really looking to cook these as much as I am to get them smoked because that's what's going to be fabulous and that one doesn't want to stand up you might have to lean on his brother and you could cut the bottoms make them flatter I guess if you wanted to Uh, I've got enough peppers on there for, let's take a look here. How beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to let these smoke for a couple of hours. I want a nice smoky flavor on these. And I don't have to turn them. I don't have to do anything. Because the Traeger, once it's, uh, if I did change it to a heating surface, it heats like a convection oven. So, because of that fan. Okay, I don't want to lose any of this valuable smoke here. So I'm going to let you go. I'll be back when you're done. Okay, guys. I think that this is just about done. I'm going to wait till this last smoking session is done. And then I'm going to turn this off and show you what I got. It smells amazing. It's been on here for three hours. So three hours. Uh, that's not a long smoke at all, but everything in here was already cooked. I just wanted to get that smoky, delicious flavor in there. So that little session is up, and we're going to turn this off. And the nice thing is, when you have the Traeger grill, the pellets, it stops using any of the pellets as soon as you turn this off. And it is electrical but you can hook it up to a solar converter. So that's kind of a nice thing. And I'm gonna give you a preview. Oh my gosh, are you guys ready for this? Because I don't know if I am, I haven't looked and I'm really excited. Let's look, Let's see what we got. Okay, ready, set, go, here we go. Oh my gosh, those look fabulous. And they're so tender and woo, and they're gonna come right off of there. <gasps> okay, and so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take all these off. I'm gonna use the spatula because that one landed upside down. <laughs> and I'll bring in the house for the taste okay, test. Okay, so look how pretty those are. And I am excited. I'm excited to bring you along for this. I'm excited to give you a taste test. Those look fabulous and they smell all smoky and delicious. So I'm gonna put you down to this one. This is the one I'm gonna taste. And I don't want you guys to worry about How good does that look? I'm thinking that looks pretty darn good. So we're gonna go ahead and take a taste test. It smells all smoky and look how pretty that is. It's a very pretty presentation. The bottom side, nothing gets too brown. It's awesome. I love that grill slash smoker. I don't have to get the smoker out. In fact, um, I'm going to have a <laughs> probably a smoker sale because <laughs> I have two of them. No, I have three of them. Holy cow. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take a bite of this and let you know how it tastes. See if the smoke got all the way through to the rice and all that. Mmm. Mm 
Wow. It's really got a, a creamy, cheesy texture to it without being over the top. And uh, the chicken is delicious. Mm. And the Rotel, and you've just got that smoke going on. It is phenomenal. Okay, and I'm sorry, but I'm going to take another bite. Because <laughs> I haven't had anything like this in a long time. So, just saying, this is delicious. Mmm. And I love the pepper still has some crunch to it, like I would want it to in the oven. A lot of people will blanch their peppers and then stuff them. I don't want my pepper soggy, so I like it still to have a little bit of crisp. So I think one of these is plenty with a salad. I'm going to have a salad next to this and maybe a piece of bread, but probably not. I'm just going to try to do it um, my carb... Uh, whole grain carb being the brown rice. So I hope this inspires you. Step outside the box. This was a, a easy recipe to put together. It uses just some really healthy alternatives in my menu and um, I couldn't have asked for anything more. I am so excited to share this with you and I'm excited to say that this was absolutely delicious. So I hope it inspires you to share it on your Facebook page. Give me a thumbs up. Go over and hit the like button on my Facebook page and get uploaded videos anytime I post them. All right, guys. I guess I'll see you next time. I hope. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys. God bless.